Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding apples and oranges and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past one year a couple of times. Also, this question is of medium difficulty. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called sales with three different columns, sale date, fruit name, and sold number. And these are the data types. The combination of sale date and fruit is the primary key for this table. This table contains the sales of apples and oranges sold each day. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the difference between the number of apples and oranges sold each day. And the result should be ordered by sale date in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example. So here we have different dates and different fruits and their quantity sold, right? So for example, for 1st of May 2020, uh, what would be the difference between number of apples and oranges uh, sold? 10 minus 8, that is 2. For, this, for the next day, it would be 0. For the third day, it would be 20 minus 0, it should be z uh, 20. And for 4th of May 2020, it should be 15 minus 16, that is minus 1. And I think that should be the result. So yeah, so that is what we are getting the result, right? Okay, so uh, we can jump and try to build this query. The first thing that you should know is even though here we see that the input is like already sorted by sale date and the fruits are you know firstly there is apple and then oranges for each of these date right but in reality and in real world and to make your code you know uh, free of any future error you should always try to think these age ca edge cases as well right so it might be the case that the the dates are not in the table as like one after the other it may be that the data for first may 2020 is here apples is here and then the after four or five rows again we have a, a data of first may 2020 but this time for oranges right so the first thing you should do is you should take this table sort it in ascending order by sale date and again sort it based on a fruit why i will let you know why it is important okay so the first thing that we can do is we can create a common table expressions and try to store the values of the sales table in a sorted manner by sale date and fruit okay so how do we start a common table expression we use the keyword with we name it so let's just abbreviate is that cte we write the keyword as and then within parentheses we write our query so we are just ordering by certain columns right so we select everything from this table called sales and order it by sale date and fruit right okay so now basically what this table what this table or what this common table expression cte would have every the entire table but now it will be sorted by sale date and fruit since here the table was already sorted so it will be basically the same uh, table now based on this this sorted table what we should do we need to calculate the difference between uh, the number sold of oranges and uh, apples right so basically if we can add a fourth column here which says the number of oranges sold so and here if we can populate it by the number of oranges sold on different dates uh, then all we need to do is do us difference between two columns sold number and orange number right so we can do that so what we do is using this we can store this entire thing and add that fourth column and save that value in another common table expression let's call it ct2 so how do we write the second column uh, common table expressions we don't need to start with again with clause all we can do is just put a comma write the name of the common table expression so let let's write it as ct2 as again parentheses 
and now here what we are doing from this sorted table right so from this common table expression we are what we are doing we are returning every column but we are adding the fourth column and how do we get the next value so firstly we need to partition by date sale date and then based on that partition we are basically uh, you know getting the next value so how do we get the next value we use the window function lead right so since we are writing a window function we will obviously write over clause over we create a partition so partition by sale date right and then so let me let me uh, walk you through like what is basically going to happen right so basically this is the case right so this is basically cte right the common table expression because after sorting it out and after sorting it out based on sale date and fruit we have this now we are basically adding a fourth column let's say orange num where we need to add like okay so on this particular date what was the uh, number of oranges sold okay so uh, what do we do is when we create a partition by sale date so basically it is creating partition and to show the partition i'm just adding you know uh, extra rows here right so basically these are the partitions so now we have four different partitions and what we are doing is we are writing lead and what is uh, what does the window function lead do is basically takes how many rows after your current row you want the value from so lead how many rows you want uh, how many is after the current rows you want the value from the next one right so you write one and from which column you want the value from this sold number well right so sold num so what will happen and we are aliasing in as as orange num right so basically what will happen so for this partition right so it will say oh okay so 10 a 10 and then the next one is 8 so here the value will be populated as 8 for this there is no so since right if you don't do a partition here the value will be coming from the next row but it does not make sense right because there is this row is for another day and it does not make sense to include it here so since there is nothing after this here the value would be for this column null right similarly for this the value will be coming from the next row that is 15 and again it would be null right so null now you can populate it on your own here it would be zero here it would be null right similarly for the last one as well so 16 and null right so this is what is happening so this is what we are doing so this cte2 will be basically having everything and then the fourth column orange num with the next value right and this is the number of oranges sold on particular day now what do we need to do is once we have this all we need to do is on a particular date we need to calculate the difference right and having orange oh, basically having these rows is of no use to us right now right because we need to calculate the difference and 8 minus null is going to be returned null and it does not make sense because the question is asking something else right so what we can do to even better this query is from this ct table we are only keeping those rows where the orange num value is not null right so from this ct2 we are only keeping those rows where orange num is not null so what will happen is basically this entire things will go away right so it's gone this one is gone and this one is gone right 
so now all we need to do is once we have that so we are returning basically what the output should have the sale date and the difference right so, so return the sale date and sold num column minus orange num and you alias this entire thing as what is the alias that we need to do it so here we have diff right so as diff and finally what we need to do we need to order the result in ascending order by sale date so order by sale date and yeah so this looks good let me just remove this uh, and let me go ahead and run this so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do this again remember why did we start with even though uh, in this example we see that uh, everything is sorted out and everything looks good and every and easy but in real world or even in the test cases which might be working in the back end when we are you know running the code or submitting it it may not be the case so that is why the first thing we are doing is we need to uh, sort it by sale date and fruit and now if you look at it you will be able to make sense why i had i was sorting it based on fruit as well because if this has been the reverse case right so oranges would be the first row and apples would be the next row then that is a problem because if you do that so in that case it would come out 8 minus 10 and not 10 minus 8 right so even though the difference uh, is going to be of 2 but the sign would mathematical sign would be negative and that would lead to an error so that is that is how we do this question let me know guys if you found it useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video